couple of weeks ago, Philip went on a shopping spree and bought over 60 trees for his noble goal of planting two trees for every tree we had lost in our garden, and his slightly more selfish goal to create his own personal arboretum tree collection. There's still about 30 trees and bushes waiting to be planted where our grounds meet the neighbour's property. Also, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Okay, Philip, what are we doing? We're just about to find out where the placement for these 20 or 30 trees is going to be. So I'm going to put sticks in the soil. Well, I started already. And then we decide together if we like it. And if we like it, tomorrow Jerome is going to come and he's going to dig holes and then put the plant in the holes. Okay, perfect. And have you measured it? Because earlier I asked you to measure it. You just did it with a... Yeah, I did it by... Old-fashioned style. Old-fashioned style, but you're going to see it's going to be the same. Yeah? Four meters. I made four steps. One, two, three, four. So four meters is funny. It was before it was here, so my steps must have changed. But it's going to be fine. So... Let me have a look. That's pretty impressive actually, yeah. Philip. Why are you measuring four meters from the fence? This is our neighbor's land. And if we plant anything that will grow more than two meters, it needs to be four meters away from the fence. This is a safe space here. In this area, we still can plant something lower. That looks good. That looks good now. Yeah. Another lorry has just arrived and Philip sneaked out. And I have a sneaking suspicion that he's been at it again. There might be some more plants in here. <laughs> Philip, what have you bought? Don't get any more ideas, Philip. This is for our entrance. That's beautiful. Yeah. I said, oh. Two of them. <gasps> That's it, boom. Uh, you need to find some plant parts for this. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's really yeah, nice. That's Careful, Philip. Oui, il est là euh, à côté des, des bâtons rouges. Sur la salle. Là, c'est ça. Ouais, c'est là que c'est la croix. Ouais, j'ai pas fait de trou. Là. 
What are you looking at, Philip? Other plants that are not for us. <laughs> I'm always getting a bit jealous when I see these cars full of plants. Wow. Look at the plant. It's beautiful. It's a griseum. Wow. Do you want to wait for Sharon to do that, or are you no, going to do it? No, no, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Yes, that was the movement I shouldn't have made. I ruined my back and wasn't able to walk for three days. Jérôme kept working, he cut down the invasive species trees behind the kids' playhouse for the new trees to have more light, but I didn't film it, as even holding a camera was too painful for me. We are finished planting, and I'm very pleased with the result. To be fair, it was more Jérôme and his guys who did this, but I helped, I helped placing the trees. Anyways, this is a young forest, and it will take many, many years for the trees to grow and to spread. So it's not really for us that we did this, but that's how it is. If you plant trees, you plant it for the next generations. And if anybody always would just think about themselves, uh, there wouldn't be any interesting trees in parks. So yeah, good job. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight species here. And with all the other plants we planted in these last years, I start forgetting what we planted. And I think it would be nice to remember, and it would be nice to find a way to write them down somewhere. And initially I thought about an Excel spreadsheet. Now that's not something I'm particularly keen on. I'm not an Excel spreadsheet guy. So I was looking for a different solution and I thought it could be interesting also to make it accessible online. So if anybody else is interested to see what we planted here, you could just look it up. Now that sounds like a complicated project, but luckily there's a company called Squarespace, which helps you to make a beautiful online presence and also happens to be, and that's an incredible coincidence, this week's ad. When you sign up with Squarespace, uh, you have access to a vast amount of templates, which you then can adapt to your needs and taste, and you don't need any programming skills. You can easily set up a web presence or build a big web shop for your e-commerce business. It's also very well suited to create online portfolios for your design projects with customizable galleries and password protected pages to share your work with your clients. If you want, you can even buy a domain from Squarespace. It's very simple and there are no hidden fees or price hikes. So if you would like to create or rebuild your own online presence, I highly suggest head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com slash how to renovate a chateau to get 10% off your first purchase of a web page or a domain. And let me know if you think it's a good idea to set up a homepage with the name and the position of the plants. There's so much to do today that I decided to call my friend and neighbor Jan I said it's about some outdoor fun. He was expecting a barbecue, but there's no barbecue. Yeah, that's, that's him. He's, he's grumpy because he doesn't get his barbecue with. First job, cleaning this area here where we planted the Betula utilis. Betula, Betula, I think it's Betula. The thing we have to do is to cut, make a nice border here mm -hmm. and and second to get rid of all these yep. and put them somewhere there so that they form a little hill in the future. Okay. Uh, somewhere you don't see it. You mean. Yeah.
I think we made fantastic progress. And given the fact that Jan came for a barbecue, he did a great job. Still haven't found any, uh, any dead body, any, uh, any, any gold, anything. Very disappointed. Well, who knows, there might be one this evening. Looks fantastic, thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. Wow, what a difference. Look at this, guys, it wasn't planned. Look at this, look, 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 look. Black trousers and boots and white t-shirt. Gardening twins. Gardening, okay, exactly. I know my jeans are too tight, but before I get a lot of online hate, let me tell you that this is because these are not my good jeans. They were washed and dried in a tumble dryer, so they shrunk and I'm wearing them for garden jobs. Jan just said he found something after all. It was worth every effort. What is it? Well, I'm very excited. What is it? I think this is roughly end of 16th, beginning of 17th century, which tends to prove that Louis XIV was an excellent golfer, because from the chateau to here, that takes a good swing. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow, wow. Very nice patina. Louis XIV, you're right. That's, the, that's his it's, favorite It's brand. actually signed, yes. That's it's signed. Uh, it's his signature. I recognize the handwriting. Perfect. So the idea is to cover this with cardboard boxes. Because there's still some bits of grass and if we cover them first with cardboard boxes and then with wood chip we might get away with not having grass coming through. I've never tried this system with cardboard boxes, but Anna did quite successfully. And I had a lot of people commenting on YouTube to do that. So I'm following your suggestion, thank you. And we'll see together how it works out. But it makes sense. It's, I know that the cardboard will disintegrate, deteriorate in a couple of months. And the wood chips will protect it and cover it. And hopefully less grass comes through. You might wonder why you don't see more of Anna today. And yes, to be involved in these outdoor activities, you need to be strong, you need to be a plant lover and extremely good looking. But that's not the reason why Anna isn't here. Anna is working on a project of her own. She's a bit shy about it, but I don't care. I want to show you what she's doing because it's great and I'm very proud of her. Hey. Hey. I'm interrupting you. Yeah, that's okay. What are you working on? Um, I'm working on our online online course. Online course? What yeah. online course? Uh, well, I am going to be launching a lino printed wallpaper and textiles course. Fantastic. Why yeah. did it take you so long? I know that people asked you years ago to do yeah. that. And now you do it. Why only now? Yeah. Um, Probably because I was a bit shy about sharing <laughs> how I really work. Your secrets. Mm -hmm, my secrets. And, um, and I don't know, I, I wanted to make something really good. So yeah, I think it's going to be good. It's I'm working on it. It's going to be fantastic. Are you going to tell them that in reality, most of the designs are mine? Yeah, that's my secret. That's, that's your... my top tip secret <laughs> that I'm going to be giving away is that actually it's really Philip who's the designer. Yeah, yeah people Nobody need to realizes. know. Nobody realizes. They don't appreciate you enough. No, I can't wait to, to see it. Yeah, no, it's going to be very exciting. It's a lot of work though, so I haven't, I've had to sort of put on hold the uh, wallpaper for the downstairs boot room. Yes. Because I'm actually going to be making my wallpaper during the course. So I'm going to be showing everybody how I do my wallpaper designs, how I research, how I come up with my designs and put it into repeat and, um, and how I transfer it onto the lino, how I 
carve the lino, how I print my wallpapers and, and fabric. So yeah, I'm actually going to be doing it in real time, which is kind of fun. So you guys will see in the end what I come up with. Uh, so who's the course for? So I think it's for anybody um, who's maybe seen my wallpapers and my prints here at the Chateau. And maybe you wanted to have a go yourself, but you didn't really know how to get started. So I'm basically going to show you, even if you're like, you know, you've never done anything artistic or creative, you can't draw, it doesn't matter. It's for everybody to have a go basically at making their own prints and coming up with their own designs. So they can create wallpapers or printed textiles. So if you want to make cushions or lampshades uh, to decorate your home and everybody will be able to do that in just a few weeks. I think about six weeks the course is going to be. Uh, and did you come up with a course name? Yes, it's going to be called Home Prince Academy. Good. And if anybody's interested, if that sounds like something you would like to learn more about, then uh, I've already set up an early bird wait list. So I don't know, Philip, you can somehow put a link somewhere. A link? Yeah. You, you need to pay. If you want a link on my video, you need to pay. Yes, I'll, I'll pay for that. Because it's my video this week. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of gardening. So I don't know where you can put it, but somewhere. Depends. Uh, it's the, the, the most expensive is on the top. Yeah. And less expensive on the bottom. You can have, you can have a good price for both. Is, Ziggy is, wouldn't make me pay, would you? Uh, no. Yeah. He loves me more than you. They need the money. All right. Yeah. Well, that's great news. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of you. Yeah. I'm really, really proud of you. Well, it's, I've had a lot of help from you as well. So you've been really helpful. Okay. I, I need to get on. So. Yes. See you later. See you later, my love. Hello. <laughs> I just wanted to show that it's really me who's filming. And not Ziggy. Has it angst? Elle a fauté du recul un peu. Elle a comme des étoumis, hein. Come back, because now he's, he's coming back. It's dangerous. Elle a stop sur ce jeu. amazing over there, by the way. Yeah. I saw you're doing my no dig method. Oh yes. But you forgot to wet the cardboard. No, you don't need to wet it, do you? Do yeah. Why? So it disintegrates. Uh. Trying to look very dukes of hazard. Yeah. You guys look pro. Well, we you look a little bit too stylish for gardeners, eh? Are you happy with yourself? I'm very happy. Good. Thinking there's people out there using other cars than Porsche to do their garden jobs. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Looking good. Very concentrated. That was kind of quick, not. I take my time, that's my only chance to drive a car like this, so I take my time.
Jan, we almost finished. Almost. Are you happy? Two more. Two, yeah, very two, happy. Two more. Looks that was fabulous. our. Looks much better than before. Two more was our running gag because we went there with a the trailer and each time we went there we said, oh, two more since the beginning. Two more, two more, two more. And I think it needs two more. I think it needs two more. Pretty two more. Much, yeah. Two, yeah, two more. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. For exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates, have a look at our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching.